morning, Chiefs. I'm Amaya. And I'm Michaela. And welcome to WKHS Morning Announcements. Now on to special announcements. Attention, Chiefs. There are two new college scheduled field trips to ODU and VSU coming up. Please check your Canvas messages for more detailed information. Permission slips can be picked up outside of room 205. See Ms. Nurse for any questions. Seniors, check your Canvas messages for information about an overnight trip to D.C. to tour Howard University, attend the Washington Wizards NBA game, and more. Contact Ms. Nurse in room 205 with any questions and to pick up a permission slip. Seniors, please check your Canvas messages for information about College Commitment Day and the Book Scholarship Social Media Contest ending February 15th. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Coxum in counseling. Juniors, are you interested in two free SAT waivers and up to four free college applications for your senior year? Please check your Canvas messages titled Free SAT Waivers for more information and see Mr. Coxum in counseling if you have any questions. The deadline for your VTFT applications is March. You must submit your application with recommendations and an essay to Ms. Rhymes in room 209. March Madness applications are due this Friday. If you would like to participate in this year's student faculty basketball game, then be sure to apply. The fee is $20 to cover your shirt. Grab an application from, eight, from room 821 or 824 and be sure to turn them in by Friday. Attention 10th graders, you will have the opportunity to take the PSAT on Wednesday, February 22nd during the school day. To take the PSAT, you must be coded as a 10th grader in student view. PSAT student guides, which provide sample questions and, taking, and test taking tips, will be given out during your English 10 or PE 10 classes. If you are not enrolled in one of those courses in this term, please see Ms. Kimbrough in room 101 to pick up a student guide. Please check your Canvas messages. Make your friends smile this Valentine's Day with an Operation Smile Smilegram. Glow sticks and candy will be sure to light up their day. Find them during lunch in, in 303 and near the cafeteria or 800 Hall this week. And lastly, congrats to Caroline Daughtry, who is recognized as an EBA Student Spotlight recipient. Now let's highlight a major contributor to modern, modern day science for Black History Month. Once called a human computer and always committed to improving the lives of people around her. Mary W. Jackson was born on April 9, 1921 in Hampton, Hampton, Virginia. Now you ask, why is she important to Black History Month? It's because she was part of a very important group of women who helped NASA succeed in sending African Americans and just Americans astronauts into space. She was NASA's first black female engineer. This helped break barriers and create opportunities for African American women in fields of engineering and technology. But how did she become so successful? She, she graduated from high school with honors and went on to get a bachelor's in mathematics and physical science from Hampton Institute. Don't forget this was a time where restaurants and restrooms were labeled colored only and white only. After graduating from university, she began teaching at Calvert County, an African-American school in Maryland. After years of numerous administrative jobs, she later on married her husband, Levy Jackson, who was a Navy sailor. They later on had two children. In 1951, Mary became a research mathematician, providing data that would help improve the U.S. space programming. But sadly, the department she worked in was heavily segregated and black people had to use separate bathrooms. She had all odds standing against her but she, because she was black and a woman. She often had to eat at her desk because there was no lunchroom. After suffering with segregation and discrimination for over numerous years, she made a report to her supervisor and he became her mentor for years to come. So while her, her career was successful, there were a lot of bumps in the road. But with her perseverance, it let her become NASA's first black woman engineer. Now to Adriana with clubs and organizations. Attention DECA members, to celebrate Valentine's Day and how much we love our DECA members, please, please come to an ice cream social on Wednesday, February 15th during the second half of lunch in room 305. All DECA members are welcome to attend. Additionally, the GSA is meeting in room 808, Monday the 13th, during the first part of One Lunch. Learn all about making a zine, which is a magazine whose intention is to add other often unheard voices into the mix. Lastly, the Kempsville Surf Rider Foundation is hosting their first meeting on February 13th in room 401 during lunchtime. Come join them to discuss their purpose, leadership positions, first beach cleanup, and ways to help the environment. There will be a member of the board of Surf Ride to help to help discuss their ideas. Bring your lunch and a friend. Now on to sports. 
Thank you, Adriana. For those interested in playing softball, there will be an interest meeting on February 10th, first half of lunch in room 820. Tryout information will be discussed. If you cannot attend, please see Coach Britton in room 820 or Coach Simonic in the gym. Lastly, congratulations to the girls varsity basketball team who defeated the Lansdowne Eagles 55 to 30. Zakaya Lindsay led all scorers with 18 points, 4 steals, 4 blocks, and 14 rebounds, while Kenya Ramsey had 17 points, 8 rebounds, and 2 blocks for the Chiefs. That's all for the morning announcements. I'm Ainsley. And I'm Adriana. Have a wonderful day.